So I hear you keep saying technology. That's a significant thing. Well, you know, it's kind of a, a good thing in a way because uh, with the smartphones, with Google Plus, it just it's come out now, and and uh, social media in in, in, in general, uh, these young people they, they're really already hooked into uh, technology. So it's just a matter now of of just picking out a particular field and moving in that direction because they're not like a lot of the older people who uh, uh, essentially are, are a lot of kind of scared of this technology. So they, they, Literally, yeah, yeah, resistant, resistant, you know, and uh, so there's some doors here that are open, and I don't know if folks really understand the, what awaits them. The opportunities are here. Uh, so let me ask you this, um, uh, Captain, um, and, and we want to thank uh, the OR Alumni Association and. Uh, uh, for this, and and for uh, I know Mr. Potts and the Youth Guidance. I know they've got a hand in this. I wish they were here. To uh, I think he's downstairs. I'm not quite sure, but uh, but I'm saying it you know because they're not here. But what I do want to say, as the question I want to ask, who are some of the role models that Captain Fuller uh, looks up to in the aviation industry that you could point out to the young people? Wow. Well, my, my first at, at, at any levels in the industry. Sure, sure, sure. My first role models were the Tuskegee Airmen, the first black air squadron in Tuskegee that flew P-51 West. If you don't know about them, learn about them. These guys were awesome. The government told them that blacks should not fly. Blacks could not fly. Their brain couldn't hold the capacity of knowledge required to fly, but yet they were able to fly. P-51 Mustang. Um, high-powered aircraft, and they were so good that they were demanded by every squadron to escort their bombers to and from Germany. Incredible. They never lost one they never airplane. Never lost one airplane. That's my inspiration. So there. those, uh, you know, great, great, great comeback. Man, that's real Great fly. comeback. That's real Okay, fly. like uh, on a modern level, who are some of the people that are, uh, uh, I know there was a great pilot uh, in my community in Maywood. Uh, uh, he passed on a year or so ago. His name was Joe Moore. Uh, oh man, he was one of the brothers. Uh, he was one of the first pilots, you know, in the '60s. Man, there were not that many brothers doing this. He was a uh, so he was a police on the Maywood Police Force, and for a number of years after he got out of college, then he went. I, I'm not sure. If he, I guess he was still in school, but he he he, deter, he, did, he did a detour and got his. Commercial pilot's license. Wow. Yeah, man. Wow. But he passed on. Just a great brother. You know what? I got some photos and some more information on Joe. He was, he was a great role model, man. And he was a precursor to what you're doing now. And and, and you'd be proud to know this guy, man. Well, these young people probably would know these guys, but you have people like there's a gentleman. I work for American Airlines as well. Yes, sir. There's a Sam Samuels. Sam one Samuels. Of the first African American captains for American Airlines. Did, do you know him? I know him personally. Okay. He's one of the ones that kind of put his foot down to make All right. keep my attitude. All right. Focused. All right. Um, are there are there pass. any women are there any women in, in, in that are there is, there is. Okay. As a matter of fact and to the sisters that are listening to this, you are a minority as a black woman. Yeah. But in aviation you are a double minority. Yes, you are yes. A black woman. Yes, yes. There's very few women in aviation, but there's a dire need for Yeah, them. yeah. Don't get too cute, too glamorous since you can't fly. I heard that. There's money now. Because it's there, right? An airplane. But there's okay. a Dave Harris, who's one of the first captains for United Airlines, who retired some years ago. And his airplane is now in the um, Smith, uh, not Smithsonian, but right down on 55th at the uh, Museum of Science and Industry. Oh, okay. And they had it floating. His airplane the is there? And brought it across the sand and put it down in the basement at the Museum of Science and Industry. It's a United aircraft that Dave Harris used to fly.